Oh man, is this guy gonna freaking disappoint the hell out of me or what? everybody welcome back to another my name toys video today we're back with a brand new wwe ultimate edition action figure review and this is one of the figures that i've been waiting on for a very long time it was on my checklist for a very long time man and we are back today with a brand new wwe ultimate edition on the wwe ultimate edition kurt angle figure now this figure is uh, is all the buzz, right? I mean, I, I wanted this figure for a very long time. We did get this from Ringside Collectibles. If you guys want to go over there, save yourselves 10%. You can go over there, use code MDTOYS to save 10%. But this figure right here, again, has has been, I've been waiting on it. We've been waiting on it, and then we saw the render images of it. We finally got the formula on this guy. We were very skeptical, man. And here he is in the full plastic. You guys can see you got the cloth singlet in there. Very, very unique looking figure. I'm here to solve all the mysteries about this guy, man. I'm, I'm very hyped for it. I did order a lot of this figure so we're gonna have multiple copies to experiment and get the right formula for this guy here is the figure here man you do have the ultimate edition figure you got the head sculpts the medals the championship very beautiful you know not the gear or the exact moment i wanted but i'll take an 01 or a early 2000s current angle all damn day man but it's your standard ultimate edition packaging you got the nice silhouette right there on the side nice smile on the guy look at the handsome guy right there on the back, we do have a shot of the figure. We have his name. We have all the different info here. And then we do have a nice shot of Kurt Angle here. And it's got the little bio read. If you want to read it, you can pause it now. But on the side, it says Kurt Angle. And that is pretty much our packaging for said Kurt Angle, man. So with that being said, let's go ahead and take him out of the packaging. Find out what this guy's all about. See if he is indeed as bad as we think he's going to be. Or if he falls somewhere in the middle. Or maybe he's pretty damn good. But nonetheless, let's shut the hell up. Crack him out of the packaging and find out what he's all about. All right, man, so here's the Kurt Angle figure out of the packaging, man. Liking what I'm seeing, you know, I, it's definitely not perfect, man. We're going to dive into all the details of the figure, man. But I had some fun posing him around, seeing all the details of this guy and checking him out for what he is, man. When I tell you, when I was a kid, man, and, like, what embodies this figure for me? Like, Kurt Angle was one of my first favorite wrestlers of all time. Him and Chris Jericho, Stone Cold Steve Austin, those guys really paved the way for my wrestling fandom. So seeing this figure just really wraps all that up for me and seeing, like, this early version of Kurt Angle is just so nice to see, man. It's really refreshing to see this from Mattel. I know for years we begged him for it. Finally got the entrance grace figure way back in 2017. You know, it was shown off at San Diego Comic-Con. Now here we are with an Ultimate Edition, and I think that's really where, like, some things chime in, and we'll kind of get into all my developments of that and dive into the details of why I feel certain ways about the figure and everything like that, and I, I covered it a little bit in the, uh, you know, approaching this figure, approaching the release of this figure, but I want to dive into all of it and kind of dive into it and why this figure really means a lot to me, and I want it to, to be, you know, this Ultimate piece here, but I know I've just said a whole lot of uh, jibber-jabber, but let's shut the hell up and dive into the accessories of the Kurt Angle, and then we'll dive into the Kurt Angle figure itself. All right, man, so getting into the accessories you get with your Ultimate Edition Kurt Angle figure. I think you get the standard amount. You do get cloth goods, which is nice. You get a championship. You get interchangeable heads. I feel like that is pretty much the bare minimum that people ask for when it comes to Ultimate Editions. But starting off first with our head sculpts, man, we're starting off with this Entrance Greats version. This is the same exact head sculpt we did get on the Entrance Greats version. It does seem to be a little bit more true effects -y. I think the last version was kind of that old school Mattel, like, oh, God. I think the last version was more of that, like, old school Mattel, like, cartoon version, but it's not a bad head sculpt. I do wish we got a new head sculpt. I wish it wasn't the exact same head sculpt, but it is a fair head sculpt. Like, it looks good. It looks like Kurt Angle. I'll take it, but I would have liked to seen something new. Next up, we have kind of this, like, I don't know, serious face or something like that, and I don't know. I don't really care for this one. It doesn't look like Kurt Angle to me. I don't know what it is. It just looks like... I don't even know. I don't even know, man. I just... I don't like it. It, it doesn't look like Kurt Angle to me. A very odd facial expression, in my opinion. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. I'm just not a fan of this head sculpt. Doesn't look like Kurt Angle to me, so I don't, yeah, I'm not feeling this one whatsoever. And then last but not least, we do have the crying head sculpt, which is very cool, you know, I do like that we get a different thing there. It's it's definitely different, you know, I do like that they went outside the box with this one, and it's not just a screaming expression or some, you know, like ones that they always do, so it is cool and fun to get a new expression. However, I will say that it's it's not my favorite. I think it does look like Kurt Angle. I mean, I don't know. I don't love it, but I don't hate it. I, I don't think there's particularly any amazing head sculpts with this figure, but I guess they get the job done, you know. I think a, a screaming expression or like a, you know, pulling the straps down expression or a, like a, I don't, I don't even know. Like even the stern expression just doesn't look good to me, man. Like I don't know, neither of these head sculpts really do it for me. But I definitely like the crying one more than this one over here. I just, I don't know. It's like the eye shape or something's off about this. Or maybe it just looks too flat. I don't really know, man. Now I also get the WWE Championship or the WWF title. Now this is the championship that I grew up with, at least in, especially like early on in my childhood. And I love this title. Always love this title. It's beautiful. It's just, 
just it captures all nostalgia and everything I love about WWE right here and wrestling in general, man. When I see this championship, just my life flashes before my eyes, really. So this is beautiful. Always great to get this. I wish I had the Scratch logo on there, but it's still a damn nice title, and I'll take it every single day of the week. Now, another thing we have here is the cloth goods. Now, it's not traditional cloth goods. It's not a, you know, a cloth t-shirt. Now, I think it would have been dope to get, you know, a track pants like gray, it's true, it's true shirt or something like that for Kurt Angle and put it on there. But I do like this uh, singlet. I've always been a fan of this singlet. You got like this nice crossing pattern here with like the different colors going on. Very cool. It's like lightning bolts kind of going on and they look awesome. I think this is an awesome singlet. And it fits the figure well, you know, it fits well for that jack torso. I don't know how well it would fit if you were to change the torso. That's something that I'm interested in seeing, but I do like this this gear, and I like the singlet. I like the cloth singlet. A lot of people bitching about the cloth singlet. I get what you're saying, but I do like that you can pull the straps down. I mean, that is something that Kurt Angle did in, like, every single match of his career. So I think that's pretty important there. But at the same time, I do understand getting a sculpted singlet in there, but maybe that'll come next time. And then what would Angle be without his gold medals? Now, it's cool because you could put the green strap or the green medals on here, the ones that have the green on there if you'd like to, or you can go with the standard USA colors. So that's awesome as well. God, dude, just that whole storyline in the early 2000s with Stone Cold Steve Austin, you know, throwing his medals in the river and everything like that. Dude, that is just so nostalgic, man. I, I remember, like, recording that on a VHS tape and re-watching that VHS tape and, like, re-watching their feud and stuff like that on that VHS tape, like, my entire childhood. And now we have the WWE Network and YouTube and stuff I can find that on, but these do look good. Like, this is just, oh, man, great stuff. For your interchangeable hands, you do get the world going round, nice mic holding or weapon wielding hands. You get the fisted hands to beat the hell out of people, of course. And then, of course, you get the ricochet Kawhi Leonard handshaking entrance open palm handshaking style hands. And these are just, you know, this is for like when he gets in the ring and he does his spin a Rooney. Not the spinner. You know what I'm talking about. When he first gets in the ring and does his spin around the ring, this is what this is for. But yeah, I don't hate him. All right, so getting into the Kurt Angle figure, starting out the head sculpt. You know, again, it is the entrance grades head sculpt. Not my favorite head sculpt. Not a bad head sculpt by any stretch. I love Kurt Angle. I think it looks like him, especially late 90s, early 2000s. I think it, you know, it knocks it out of the park for the most part. You know, even though, again, I do wish that we got a new head sculpt. I can live with this one, I guess, for now. Going down, we do have the cloth singlet here. You know, it it isn't horrific by any stretch. I actually like the cloth singlet, but it does look big underneath here. And I don't know. I guess the more I'm, like, messing around with the figure, I guess it's growing on me more. And I definitely like the singlet over the torso more than off the torso because it shows how jacked it is. But... I don't know, man. I just really would have preferred a new formula. I don't I don't freaking know. But I do like this, like, flat blue color you have going on on the elbow pads right here. I, I like that a lot. You no know, no wrist tape or anything like that. The singlet looks, for the most part, I kind of, it kind of looks like a wedgie a little bit here, but not too, too bad. He does have his tattoo on the back right there. I feel like it's supposed to be more right here, but I guess they didn't do that because of the tattoo. You probably could have put the tattoo, like, right there where it articulates maybe, but I don't know. Maybe it is right there. I, I want to say it's lower, but I don't freaking know. Going down, you have the same singlet design going down, and then we do have this new knee pad sculpt. This is a new knee pad sculpt, and he does have the drop-down hips, which is interesting. I'm still not really a fan of those, but the blue knee pads look good. You know, they are the, the big knee pads. These are a new sculpt, but I just don't like large knee pads on my figures. It just hurts the articulation. I'm a big articulation guy. I want to be able to move the figure around and pose them around, so, you know, that uh, that does bother me. But, yeah, they are accurate. He did have these big knee pads. That's how it was back then, you know? That's how he looked. I don't know why I'm saying it like that's how it was back then. You know, you had the big knee pads and that was the only option. But these are pinless legs. Uh, they are pinless. I, I checked under there, you know. I did check under there. They are pinless. Yeah, no holes in there. They are pinless. He's got the standard red and white boots, Ultimate Edition style on there, which is interesting. I mean, it's Ultimate Edition. What do you want? But, yeah, I mean, I don't know, man. I just, ah, could have been, man. What could have been. But I don't know, man. You know, looking at the figure from far away, it doesn't look horrible. It does look like it's kind of going up in his crotch a little bit there. It's a little bit of a wedgie, but I don't know. I, I like the figure, but it's not my favorite of all time. But I do want to get into some Kurt Angle figure comparisons and take a look at some other things with Kurt Angle. So for your Kurt Angle figure comparisons, guys, here is our other two kind of like early 2000s, late 90s to mid 2000s Kurt Angle figures. You got the team angle, bald angle, and then you do have the entrance crates angle with a fix up. I did fix that figure up a little bit, but I definitely like these style knee pads on him rather than that, even though these are more accurate as you guys can see over there. But I don't know. I love Kurt Angle, man. God, this is great. But I never liked this formula for Kurt Angle anyway. And it's not like it's just egregious. Like it doesn't look bad looking at him like this, but I mean, look at his thighs. Overly jacked, overly jacked arms, overly jacked shoulders, massive, just ripped up like you could cut F and meat on his chesticles. You know what I'm saying? So 
don't know, I just don't like that overly defined look for certain wrestlers. I like the more realistic tones, even though sometimes it does it does work sometimes for them to have those overly muscular torsos and stuff. But in this case, I would have preferred something a little bit more subtle. And I think that's why like maybe like a macho man torso right here or or formula would have been better for the Kurt Angle. I don't know, this just looks more realistic. If you put this torso over here in the right skin tone, tell me it wouldn't. I think the thighs are pretty much fine, but I think this torso, maybe like, uh, maybe the arms that came on, maybe, what figure was that that we looked at not too long ago? Damn it, I can't remember. Maybe it was Kevin Owens or... Or it was somebody. It was somebody that had, like, specific arms that looked really, really good. I can't think of who the hell it was. But, you know, just maybe not this small of arms, but maybe a difference. But I don't, I don't freaking know, man. But this is kind of what I was wanting out of a Kurt Angle torso. Like the Jeff Hardy version or, or even the Cody Rhodes torso, I think, would have sufficed. But, you know, at the end of the day, it does bother me. But I think you, it's serviceable. It's passable. I just think it could be much better next go around. And I think they are going with a, a sculpted singlet next time. And so it'll be interesting what, you know, formula they do choose for that Kurt Angle. But that is your Kurt Angle figure comparisons. So I did want to show off the figure without the singlet on there, man. And I don't know how you guys feel about it. I just, I don't know. Like, I guess at certain angles, it's not the worst of all time. But it's certainly too big. And I just, I, I don't know. It's just something about this torso and the way it, like, angles down. And I don't know. The head may be too damn big to really put on a different torso, to be honest with you. I don't know how that's going to really play out, but I don't know. It's not bad. I do like that they put the, the trunks underneath, and it's just not like, you know, like Finn Balor trunks or something like that. I like that they added that if you want to take the cloth singlet off or something like that and do some different things with it. They allowed you to do that, so that is good, but I don't know. I, I don't just despise the figure entirely. I just think I'm let down by it a little bit, and I don't know, man. The, just the torso is just, I, I don't like it. I don't like the torso. And I don't know, it's not as bad as Eddie Guerrero, by God, but I think that's probably just because of the proportions they used here. But I certainly would would like a different torso for my Kurt Angle figure. But uh, yeah, I just wanted to showcase what this looks like without the singlet before we, you know, before we carried on with the video. But yeah, that's what he looks like without the singlet, just from a far away spot, if you guys wanted to see that. But anyways, man, I think that's pretty much going to wrap up our Kurt Angle Ultimate Edition review, man. I mean, I we pretty much knew what it was before this figure release, man. We all know how I feel about this torso. I just don't think that it really fits Kurt Angle. And when you look at the side-by-side, -side, which we've mentioned before, you know, it does look like Kurt Angle's physique, but just walking around, man, it's just not him. It's just not him. It's way too jacked. I think this torso really only works for like one to three, maybe four people max. Uh, I think Bobby Lashley's kind of on the fence. You could make an argument either way. Ultimate Warrior, I think it fits. I just think that when you combine the butterfly joints with this looking torso, with that wideness going over that lower part of the abdomen torso, I just don't know, man. And also, like, the, the shoulders are gigantic. The arms are gigantic. And I guess you could make an argument for this, but I still felt like his figures were way too jacked anyway. Before the Ultimate Edition, I thought his elites were too jacked. So just kind of mixing those things together, man, and everything. I think it has a really, like, a lot of great things going on for it. And then it has some things that are just head-scratching where I'm like, damn, I wish this were different. I think the Macho Man torso would have been better. Just a different approach to the formula would have been better for me, in my opinion. But even, like, the head Head sculpts. I'm not really a big a fan of the head sculpts. Like the crying head sculpt is cool. It's different. I do like that we get a different expression there. I don't know how I feel about the likeness. I guess it's okay. You know, it looks like Kurt Angle crying, so I guess we can say that. But uh, a repeat of the entrance grades head sculpt. It's a solid head sculpt. I would have liked to seen something different since we saw that years and years ago. The serious expression just looks a bit odd to me. It doesn't really capture that Kurt Angle likeness to me personally. The hair sculpt's fine. I think the attire's fine. I actually like this attire a lot. I like that we get the WWF Championship. I like the new knee pad sculpt, even though... Like, it's better than the old knee pad sculpt, but... I would much rather have just the standard normal knee pads, you know, like your your Seth Rollins style or your Finn Balor style rather than the big style. But I guess that, that's not the biggest deal. You could easily switch those out. But I don't know. I It's really my biggest gripe of this figure come down to the formula of the body. And if you're okay with those things, then I guess it's fine. But for me personally, I just don't like the formula that these guys that, that we're using here, man. I just am not a fan of the formula. But if you guys do like the figure, you like what you see here, man, go over to Ringside Collectibles. Use promo code MDTOYS to save yourselves 10 percent when shopping over there of course but this figure is I, I i think i'm just disappointed overall i'm disappointed overall and i was pretty disappointed when we saw the figure initially just because i knew it was coming and i you know you can look past it i love the cloth singlet i don't know a lot of people didn't like the cloth singlet i personally do like the cloth singlet because you can pull the
the straps down like this. I think this is awesome. I think that, you know, there's a lot of great things going on with the figure, but at the end of the day, I am disappointed. I think it could have been much better, and that's where I sit on this Kurt Angle Ultimate Edition, man. But him being one of my favorite wrestlers growing up, man, that was just, that was my money zone right there. So this right here is very nostalgic for me. I want the figure to be great, and so I'm going to see what I can do, fix it up, and do whatever, but... Maybe that'll change my opinion on some of the things about the figure, but I would like to know what your comments are on this card angle figure down in the comment section below, man. But that is going to wrap it up. A huge shout out to our Patreon members of the MDT YouTube channel. Always appreciate those fellows over there for their continued support over here. Love you guys, and thank you so very much for everything you guys do for me. But that is going to wrap the video up, man. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok at MyDamnToys. Let me know your thoughts down below. I will see you guys in the next video. We have some Ringside Fest reveals coming today, so I'm super excited for that. And I will see you guys in the next one. Have a blessed one, and I'll catch you later.